Welcome back to the Global Business Report here on Arise News. We've talked a lot about technology and particularly we're going to be talking about founders, founders with great ideas. How do those ideas get funded? Capital is limited. And so the gatekeepers, the funders of these ideas are the people we need to speak to in order to find out from them how exactly do we fund the best ideas uh, in tech, especially on the African continent and particularly here in Nigeria. Joining me from our Lagos studios to discuss further is the founder of Tech Circle, Mr. Oo Mwe. Uh, oh, thanks for joining us. Good morning to you. So much to discuss this morning in terms of funding uh, tech startups. But I wanted to first start off by getting your thoughts on what we saw this week with the artificial intelligence uh, workshop in Abuja. Yeah, good morning, Rochers. Um, um, greetings from Lagos. Um, I think um, the AI workshop is uh, a very promising development. Um, what I tell people is that uh, previously, Africa in general had always had to leapfrog. We have always been behind schedule. Uh, we're talking of ATS, we're talking of the internet, we talk of email, um, we talk of even, even blockchain. We have had to, or the financial system, we have always had to go work from behind. Um, fortunately, um, there's what they call osmosis of ideas. Fortunately, this time around, um, as the AI, the AI, uh, let's say the AI race has begun, um, Nigeria is aware and ready to start. So I normally tell people I don't want to leapfrog. Let's let's walk let's walk let's walk side by side. No more leapfrogging. So um, this type of um, pro programs would align allow everyone have it top of mind. Um, and I think the second thing I like about the AI workshop it was the fact that we have now seen the positive aspects of um, what they talk, what they call um, the brain drain. You know, I'm, I'm one of the proponents of encouraging more people to travel, more people should go out. And, and what we have seen is that, what we have seen is that the people that helped with these workshops are people from the diaspora, right? So it's, um, it's, it shows or it signals what would happen in future, whereby we would have a lot of technology or skills that would, um, would be brought back home when the time arises yourself uh, we spoke with you you know during the uh, Nigerian elections last year where you were trying you know you had an innovative way in counting votes uploading them and stuff like that you funded uh, a number of startups you've been very passionate about it uh, I think you have a pitch to win accelerator coming up how can we ensure the best ideas are funded with limited resources so um, Pitch to Win is a startup competition that started a, a while ago. It helped, it's a mechanism to help identify the most promising startups in the market. Um, it started when um, one of the earliest investors in Paystack, his name is Hiro Mashita, um, he said he wanted to know, he wanted to invest in more of space tax. And I was like, there was no way to know the next big thing. And so we decided to put together um, Pitch to Win, um, which is happening um, this year again in June. And the whole idea is we have to find a way to encourage people in the earliest of stages. I'm not one to admit um, a lot of jealousy, but I will tell you that anytime I hear of a startup that, um, that is applying to YC, and the first time I'm here, I hear about them that are applying to YC, I now say, ah, that means I'm doing something wrong here. Because if someone in San Francisco is learning about our most brilliant um, founders before us that are supposed to be on ground, then something is wrong somewhere. So again, the idea of how to identify the, um, the important startups that are, are, are in our environment is to have this type of encouragement, this type of, um, this type, this type of events and activities that are low stakes. Um, there's a lot of problems around the funding landscape as it were. And most times, most people do not want to build if they are not being given a large sum of money. But sometimes, this healthy competition, if you, think, if you look at our football, they, lot, they play a lot of friendly. So think of this as a type of friendly in, in the growth of a startup. Um, you, we should be having weekly, weekly pitch events. We should be having random activities that will bubble up the most interesting um, startup. So um, that's the essence of Pitch to Win. Um, we launched the application today, so we're hoping that people apply. And the idea is to bring a lot of investors. It's not the first time an investor should see you. It's not when you're looking for money. It should be early in your journey. Most people don't understand that um, investors always like to look at the delta, the difference between the first time they saw you and the last time, and the, the next time they see you. 
So don't wait until you have one million in revenue. The investor will now wait until it's 10. It's good for the investor to see when you have 10 Naira in revenue. Then when you have a million Naira, they can say, oh, you have grown so much between this uh, period of time. So these little activities allow for a mechanism for the early, people in the earliest of their stages. Hopefully you have launched, which is very, very critical, to come out and meet, network, and showcase their innovation. All right, so speaking of innovation, we have infrastructure issues like power. We had a viral video where I was giving an update from the AI workshop and the lights went out. Um, can we walk and chew gum at the same time in your view? Can we chase innovation while attending to infrastructure issues? And then also, what excites you? What are you hoping to, what kind of pitches are you hoping to see? What are, are young entrepreneurs in the tech space startup, are they, at, at, you know, are they providing practical solutions to our problems? Uh, yes. Um, so as regards um, NEPA, you know, um, if NEPA doesn't take light, you don't know it's a Nigerian event. And it's a good reminder of the situation of things. But we should understand that technology doesn't exist in a vacuum. Te technology ensures that processes are more efficient. So yes, it's very re AI is very relevant. So today, we're wondering how do you manage demand? Or how do you communicate with consumers at scale? So yes, if, if we do not know how to ensure, I was talking to a business today and I was asking, they said, oh, diesel is so expensive. I'm sure you're familiar with who I was talking to. <laughs> um, and diesel is so expensive, I'm asking, okay, how do you understand your energy consumption? How much do you consume? How much do you need? Can you have, um, what do you call it, an energy mix of um, solar, diesel, and um, hopefully band A, um, um, electricity? And the person wasn't too aware. AI can solve this because, with a, we, because when you get the data over a period of time of how much you're consuming, how much um, electricity or how much power is available at a particular period when the sun is at its maximum, then you could use machine learning, artificial intelligence to automate switch between different energy sources. So yes, we can sh chew gum at the same time and walk and if possibly skip at the same time. So uh, it's not either or. Now, I understand where people think it's a misplaced priority when you are only focused on one. Because again, technology is as good as the people involved. So if you're supposed to be collecting data for power consumption and someone unplugs it or someone steals the server, then there's a limit to what AI can do. But of course, AI can ensure that you would have your uh, webcams and you can be able to do image recognition. So yes, it's very important that we should be thinking of how to apply technology to these problems. And this brings me to your second question as what ideas we're looking for. We're not looking for ideas. We're looking for solutions to problems. And that's one of the gaps we normally see in the early funding stage, where people come with very brilliant ideas. What of if you um, in, uh, integrate A with B? But no, that's not what we're looking for. Um, so I know a company called uh, Moto Africa, for example, that is um, trying to digitize every car. So they plug it into um, your, your, the brain box of your car and they can monitor your car wherever it is. You could, you could determine that the car shouldn't go beyond this, um, uh, this area or geographic area and they can automate it. If the car is speeding, instead of saying call this number while you're speeding, the car would be able to call the head of safety in probably the, the comp uh, company fleet and say this driver is speeding. Who is your safest driver? What is his safe driving habits? So that's a technology that is solving problem. I know a company called Uburu, for example, that trying to ensure that your medical records are able to be um, aggregated. You go to a hospital in this place, you go to a hospital in that place, they, you have an emergency and people do not even have your hospital history, right? So those are problems we expect to see um, solved. There are a lot of problems we have um, in identity, we, don't have, we have various identity systems. There's a lot of fraud, especially with AI now. I can create my own rotus and open a bank account if I have his details and uh, take a picture. And so how do we identify those things? So that's the beautiful thing. As long as there's problem, uh, as long as we have problems, there will be a lot of solutions and there will be a lot of business and money to be made. Great stuff. Uh, oh, oh, we founder of Tech Circle. Wish you best of luck with uh, Pitch to Win that you said is launching today. Thank you so much for talking to us about the practical implementations for technology for yes, solving sir. issues. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate your time. Uh, that's going to do it for the Global Business Report. Do stay tuned to Arise News from all of us. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your company. I'm Rotu Soduri. Do stay tuned to the Arise News channel.